In my last video, we have seen how to control the position and speed of a DC motor using ROS control. This motor uses incremental magnetic encoder as sensor. Encoders are the most commonly used sensors to get the position and velocity of joint actuators. As shown in the last project, to get the position feedback from the encoder, I have to write an external interrupt protein in Arduino. The external interrupt pins are limited on a microcontroller. There are only two external interrupt pins in Arduino Uno and six in Arduino Mega. Also, if we write interrupt routines for more than one encoder with just one microcontroller, we may not get the accurate position of each joint because the encoder's output pulse rate will be higher at maximum speed of the motor. So we may miss interrupts of some motors while serving the interrupt of other motor. That means I have to use a separate Arduino for each joint of my robot. It would be costlier to use an Arduino for each joint. So I started to think of an alternate method. I need a circuit that can read the encoder value without using interrupts to make it independent of Arduino. The job of this circuit is to get the count of pulses from the encoder and send it to the controller which can be a processor like Raspberry Pi or a microcontroller like Arduino. I have divided the circuit into three parts. The first part is a debounce and direction detection circuit. This part will first clean the unwanted spikes of the clock and data signals coming from the encoder and then use them to decide if the actuator is rotating in clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Next part is a up down counter circuit to count the number of pulses. Whether to count up or count down is decided by the previous circuit. I am using 16 bit counter for this circuit. Then this counter value need to be passed to the controller to decide the position of the joint. I have used I2C module to send the count value to the controller. Let's build this circuit. I have found the circuit for debounce and direction detection in this video. The link to this video is attached in the description. Go through this video for better understanding of how the rotary encoder and this circuit works. I have connected the circuit for direction detection as shown in that video. This is the rotary encoder which takes 20 steps to complete one rotation. This LED glows for clockwise rotation and this one for counterclockwise rotation and this one blinks for each step. Let's test it. I have to rotate this slowly to see the blink in camera. Okay, the circuit is working fine. Now let's complete the circuit by connecting the remaining two parts. The red wire going out from this circuit decides the direction of rotation and the blue wire is the count pulse. I have cascaded two 74191 counter ICs since the encoder has 20 steps per revolution. The 8 bit output from these counters are transferred to Arduino using PCF8575 I2C module. I have written an Arduino code to see the values from the encoder. Let's quickly have a look. Include Y.h and PCF8575.h for I2C communication. You can download PCF8575 library from this link. Create an instance for PCF8575 module. Initialize serial monitor. This specifies the address of I2C slave. This is where we are reading the values from the counter. Finally, print them on serial monitor. Now let's run serial monitor and check the values. Initially, the output of the counters are loaded with all ones. Hence, we are getting the value 255. I am rotating it in counterclockwise direction. The counter value is increasing. Twenty steps. This completes one rotation. Now let's turn it in clockwise direction. The value is decrementing. And reaches to zero at the start position. Next, I'll connect the circuit to the DC encoder motor and control its position and velocity. While testing, I found that the previous debounce circuit is not necessary for the encoder. So I have modified the debounce circuit like this. Now I'm using inverter smith trigger for debouncing and D flip flop for direction detection. Let's see the connections. This is DC motor with encoder, motor driver. These are the clock and data lines from the encoder. This is the final circuit that sends the encoder values to the controllers without using interrupts. 
Data and clock signals from the encoder are connected to the inverter smith trigger for debouncing and then given to the flip flop for deciding the direction of rotation. From here, the direction output is connected to up bar down pin of all 74191 counter ICs. The clean clock pulse is given to the input clock pin of the first counter IC. The next counter IC input clock pin is connected to the previous IC repeat clock output pin. This is how four counters are cascaded. The 16-bit output from the four counters are connected to the PCF8575 I2C module. Finally, the SCL and SDA pins of I2C module and Arduino are connected. Here is the schematic of the final circuit. Time to test this circuit. First I'll start with controlling the position. Ok, we are ready. C is the current position of the joint, T is the target position and E is the feedback from the encoder. This encoder will take 2200 steps for one rotation. First I'll give 360 degrees as target. If everything works well, the encoder feedback value must be near to 2200. See, the motor have achieved it with small error. The encoder value is very near to 2200. This error can be resolved with proper PID values. Let me give some more angles and check. Perfect. Let's have a quick look at the code. Include this header file for PID control. These two libraries for I2C communication. The required libraries can be downloaded from these links. Declare an instance for PCF8575 module. PID control function with required parameters. Set the parameters for PID algorithm. Address of the I2C slave. Initialize serial monitor. Read the encoder value and calculate the current position of the joint. Get the target position. Compute the new output and send it to motor. And then the loop repeats. Now let's control the speed of the motor. The motor is at rest, so the speed is zero. I'll command it to rotate at 40 degrees per second. See the speed has reached to 40 degrees per second. The maximum speed of this motor with the current power supply is 55 degrees per second. That's why it cannot reach 60 degrees per second target. Next 30. Twenty. Now let's check the accuracy. If the motor is spinning at 40 degrees per second, then it should complete one rotation in 9 seconds. Let's see. Perfect. The code is similar to the previous one except the formula to check the current speed of the motor. So, this is how I made the encoder to work without interrupts. I can use this circuit at each joint encoder instead of a microcontroller and get the feedback through I2C. Using interrupts is not a bad idea. 
we can use low cost microcontrollers like Arduino Nano at each joint encoder and get the value. I have just shown another way of using encoders. Let me know your opinion on this circuit in the comment section. I hope you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on robotics. For more stuff on robotics and ROS, go through www.rosroboticslearning.com. Thanks for watching.